Welcome back guys. Tomorrow we are going to solve the absolute value functions. Again, this is for Algebra 1, Semester 2. So let's start with the questions. First one, I hope you can see it. The question is, it's easy, so please focus with me. So we have Choose the graph that represents the equation y equals the absolute value of x minus 1 plus 4. Now, the graph of the absolute value, we can have it in two shapes or two different ways. The first one, either this way, upwards, or downwards. The most important two points, uh, the most important point that we're going to find is the vertex, either this one, the lowest point or the highest point. These are the most important point. This is the most important point. So in this case, the most important point, how do we find it? You just take what's inside the absolute value will be the x value, which is going to be negative 1. It's going to be positive 1. You take the opposite. If it was plus 1, it's going to be negative 1. And the outside the, outside the absolute value, you're going to take the 4. And this will be your vertex. And this will be your vertex. So, now because it's positive, because the absolute value outside is positive, then the graph is going to be upwards. And of course, this point will be 1, 4 as the lowest point. So if we go to the graphs, if we look at the first one, as you can see, the first one is 1. No, the first one is negative 1. So this one is not correct, because this one is supposed to be 1, not negative 1. So if you look at the second graph, you see the second graph is 1 and 4, exactly what we said. If we go 1 and 4, and it's going upwards, so the answer will be the second graph. We'll do more, we'll do more examples and you see how it's the same thing. So don't worry. Let's go to the second question. Again, choose Choose the graph that represents the equation y equals negative the absolute value of x plus 4 plus 1. Again, because we have, now in this case we have negative outside the absolute value, so the graph is going to be downwards, like this one. I'm sorry, like this one. Okay, now we need to find the vertex. The vertex, as we said. It's going to be the opposite of what's inside the number 4 because it's positive, which is the negative 4. And outside the y value, it's going to be 1. It stays the same thing. So it's negative 4 and 1 and going downwards. So if we look at this one, the x is negative 4, the y is 1, and it's going downwards. So this could be an answer. Let's look at the rest of the graphs. This one, of course, going upwards. No, this one's going upwards. No, this one, we have 4 and 1. We have 4 and 1. And, of course, the answer would be, as we said, it's going to be negative 4 and 1. And this is the answer. This question, which equation describes the graph? So, first... It's going upwards, so it has to be positive. That's one. Two, the vertex is what? As you can see, the vertex is, the point is what? The point is, uh, the, the x value is zero, while the y value is negative one. While the y value is negative one. So the x value is zero, so it's supposed to be y equals the absolute value of x, because we can't add any number because it's 0, minus y, the y value. And it's going upwards, so it stays positive. So it's the absolute value of x minus 1. Now, there could be a number here. That's why we check. We check the answer. How do we check the answer? By using this one. How much is the value of 1? Let's plug in 1. 1 minus 1 is how much? If you plug in 1, 1 minus 1 is how much? Is 0. 
So in this case, 1 minus 1 is 0. If we plug in the x one here, the x value is 1. So you need to multiply times a number, which is in this case 2. So if we look at the answers, let's look at the answers. Uh, of course, remember, we need to subtract 1. So as you can see, the first one is the same thing, x, the absolute value of x minus 1. We we'll multiply times 2 because if we, absolutely, if we plug in 1, it has to be 1. So if we plug in 1, 1 times 2 is 2, minus 1 is 1. That's the answer. Question 4. Choose the graph that represents the equation 2 times the absolute value of x minus 2. Again, guys, the same thing. We need to find, of course, it's going upwards. Why? Because the 2 is positive, the absolute value is positive. And the vertex will be what's inside. The x value is going to be positive to the opposite. And what's outside, we have nothing. Not, there's no numbers added or subtracted, so it's going to be 0. So that is the vertex, 2, 0, and it's multiplied times 2. So first, we need to check the vertex for 2, 0. That is it. So let's check them. So this one is negative 2, 0, so that's not a good answer. This one is 2, 0, and it's going upwards, which is perfect. This one is negative 2, and this one is also 2, 0, it's going upwards. Now, as you can see, it's multiplied times a number that is bigger than 1. So the difference between the, the, the second one and the fourth one is that the fourth one is wider but it's supposed to be narrower. So the answer would be the second one. Why is it supposed to be narrower? Because it's multiplied times a number that's bigger than one. That is it, okay? And that's the answer. Question five. Which ordered pair is the vertex? We'll learn that. What's inside is the opposite, so it's gonna be positive four, the x value, and positive three. Positive four and positive three. Six, choose the graph that represents the equation y equals negative the absolute value of x minus one. Again, guys, it's the same thing. As you can see, negative, so the graph is going to go downwards because the absolute value is negative. While inside the absolute value, there is no number, so it's going to be zero. The x is not added to anything. And outside, the y value is going to be negative one. That's the vertex, that's the highest number. So it's supposed to be 0, negative 1. The first one, as you can see, it's 0, 1. But it needs to be 0, negative 1. So if we cancel it, 0, negative 1, 0, negative 1. Of course, it's supposed to be downwards. So this is the answer. This is 0, negative 1, and it's going downwards. Question 7. Choose the graph that represents the equation negative the absolute value of x minus 3 plus 2. So the same thing, guys. Let me zoom in. What's the opposite of negative 3? Positive 3. Okay? And the 2 stays the same. So it's 3, 2, and the graph is supposed to be downwards because it's negative. And this one will be 3, 2. So the first one is going upwards, so it's a wrong answer. So it needs to go downwards, and it's supposed to be 3, 2. In this case, it's negative, so that's the wrong answer. This one is also negative, as you can see, so that's not. So the last one is the answer, uh, 3, 2. Question 8, which equation describes a graph? The same thing, guys. What? First of all, what's the vertex? The vertex is, as you can see, it's 1, the x value, and the y value is 2. So, it's going to be y equals the absolute value of x minus 1, the opposite, remember, plus 2. And this will be the equation, plus 2. That is it. So, as you can see, the first one, the absolute value of x minus 1 plus 2. Is there anything? No, that's the only one. So this is the answer.
Question 9. Which equation describes the graph? The same thing, guys. Which equation? So in this case, we have it's going downward, it's supposed to be minus. The x value is 0, so we don't add anything to x or subtract. And the y value is 2, so plus 2. That is, so it's negative the absolute value of x plus 2. As you can see, the first one is the correct one. The first one is the correct one.